Hi everyone, this is Mr. D. Bartolo. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm so happy that I have just my little ones back. Um, it's been a minute. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, thank you guys for coming to my office hours. Um, when I see you guys, it actually really brightens my day um, quite a bit. And I'm bored, so I am thrilled to when I see you guys. Um, so if you haven't stopped by, stop by. Uh, me and Miss Sloan are co-running them, and we are always really happy to see you guys. So, um, without further ado, this is my YouTube channel. Um, these are where I'll be posting all my videos. So, not to be cliche, but like and subscribe. So when I update, when I make new videos, you get notifications so you don't forget about my class. Um, as of right now, we'll get into that in a minute. So make sure you subscribe. I know I have about 55 subscribers. Um, subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting stuff every Wednesday or Thursday, depending on when I do it. Um, and then the homework will be due on Thursday each Thursday uh, for the next week or so. Um, I'll get into more logistics just in a little bit. Make sure you uh, subscribe to Paras as well. His uh, YouTube account is right on my main page. Um, it's like under related um, accounts and it's his name. So also subscribe to his because he'll be posting stuff on Monday. Okay. Um, this is a weird time, so I'm going to get into logistics. That is slide two. The presentation link is um, in the description. It actually is in the description because it's my own YouTube account. So check the description. There's a YouTube, there's a link to my presentation. It's in Google Slides. Open it up. Cool. If you don't have it up yet, pause me because I'm about to go through some stuff that's pretty important. We're on slide two. Gotta have my drink. All right. So, this is how this quarter is going to work. I'm going to go through each of these little bullet points and talk about them just a little bit. Okay. The comments on YouTube videos are going to be turned off. Uh, I'm not going to open it up to discussion, um, especially because people will look at the YouTube video at different times. I also don't think students can handle it well. <clears throat> um, the work I assign is mandatory. It's for a grade. This is for quarter four. Um, so all the work I assign is mandatory. It is for a grade, a.k.a. you have to do the work in order to pass. If you don't do the work, you will not pass. This is a very easy quarter for you guys. So, if you do the work, you will be fine. I need everything done completely. Um, if you do not like the assignment or prefer a different assignment, cool, I'm so happy that you're speaking out for yourself. Good for you. Way to use your voice. Let me know. Email me, and we will talk one on one, one on one, uh, for a more personalized assignment. So, again, um, when I tell you to pause the video, um, pause the video and complete the work. You can take as much time as you need. Again, I'm not gonna be right over your shoulder, so take as much time as you need in order to complete something. Okay, um, oh, the students who did the work that I assigned the last two weeks, um, all those videos that, I up, that were uploaded to the Uplift account, um, that all goes in as extra credit. Um, you have until Friday to redeem extra credit. Um, I have a giant spreadsheet of all the kids who completed um, the different assignments. Shout out to, ooh, a lot of you. Sophia, Brittany, Gabby, Yanisia, 
Maria, uh, Ashley Campuzano. Shout out to Diego Hernandez. Shout out to Alexa Mora. Who else gets a shout out? Shout out to Mary. She's the best. Shout out to Susanna. Susanna rocked it. Shout out to Abby. She did a good chunk of them too. Shout out to Perla as well. And Sophia. Shout out to Joel Bacera. Little one got it done. And Felipe, you also crushed it. So good job on all of you guys. Thank you for giving me extra credit. I have everyone who did any extra credit. Um, you will receive it. So do not worry. Your work has not gone in vain. Even if you just did one of the assignments, you will still get extra credit. Not as much as the people I shouted out, but you will still get some. Okay. You have till Friday to do that. I'm going to double check the lists on Friday to see who did it. And then if you did it, cool. Um, okay. Here is the grading policy as of right now. This is from Miss Holloway. This is not my opinion because that would be much meaner. So the grading policy as of right now equals do the work completely. You get 100. Notice how I read, wrote the word completely. If you submit something and it is incomplete, you will not get a complete. You will get an incomplete, a.k.a. a zero. So it's either... 100% done, or it's 99% done, so it's not 100% done, and that's a zero. So you got to make sure it's done completely. So if I give you a quiz, and there are 10 questions on there, and you answer nine, that's a zero. That is not done completely. I want all the work to be done completely. So if you finish all the work, and it's completely done, I will give you a complete in power school, which is technically 100. If you don't, if you don't finish all the work, you get a zero, an incomplete. Take that as you, as you will. Okay, so the work I sign is mandatory. This is no longer a uh, enrichment. This is mandatory work that you have to get done for me and for Mr. Para. I'll get into that in a minute. So you have to get everything that we assign you've done. So everyone should be clear. Cool. Okay. Um, I'll go through the last three, three, one, uh, three lines here on slide two. Um, like and subscribe um, so I can get more YouTube money. It's a joke. I get nothing. Uh, like and subscribe so I can you can be notified when I post a new video so you can get the work done as soon as possible. Um, so be sure to like my page, be sure to like Para's page. Para is also gonna be posting videos on Mondays. Um, his work is also mandatory and he will be taking note of who's doing it and who's not. Um, all of this is gonna factor into your quarter four grade. There will be a grade for quarter four as far as I'm concerned, so. This could be a really, really, really easy grade if you just get the work done. Because if you get it done, you get 100. I hope you guys understand me and understand what I'm telling you. So make sure that you get the work done. Clear. Cool. Okay, um, if you have any additional questions about the logistics of how this will work, please email me, because I will respond. Um, additionally, um, now nah, I'll get into it later, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so um, let's go to slide number three. Um, what I want you to do, I want you to write a paragraph in the Google form about what you have learned either about yourself or the people around you during this pandemic. 
explain why or how you learn this. Take as much time as you need, just write as much as possible or as much as you want, as much as you want to get your point across. The link for the Google form is actually right on slide three um, where it says Google form. You can click it. It's also in the description down below. So you can pause me now and unpause me when you're ready. Oh my God, hi. Welcome back, <coughs> Corona. So, um, we're gonna move on to slide four. Okay, slide four. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be learning about annotation strategies and that will help you with your homework. Cool. So I have four different strategies of annotations that you can use. You can choose one, two, three, or four. You can choose all four and do all four, but you need to choose at least one. You need to be doing at least one of these. Cool. So our first um, way to annotate is one, two, three, four equals summary. So. What that means is, let's say you're reading a text and you, there are four paragraphs on a page. Let's just say, so here's a paragraph, here's a paragraph, here's a paragraph, here's a paragraph. You, you write down a summary here, a summary here, a summary here, and a summary here, and then you combine all those sentences together so here's a paragraph, here's a paragraph, here's a paragraph, here's a paragraph. You write four little sentence summaries of each of these paragraphs, you add it all up and you have one big old summary. Cool. That one's pretty easy. It's also really similar to our third annotation strategy, so just take that for what it is. Um, second annotation strategy um, that I would recommend is to stop and jot in the margins. Um, really similar to this. So if you are reading and you something that piques your interest, you can just write it down in the margins. Um, you can either do that um, for each paragraph or you could do it a few times a page or you can do it once per page. All up to you. Um, the third one is a heart for things you love. Look at that, what a good heart. So a heart for things that you love, things that you think are really cool or interesting, um, or you just think are, are awesome. You can draw a heart next to that. How cool. An exclamation point for things you think that are exciting. If there is an exciting portion in the text that we read, um, put an exclamation mark there. Um, a question mark if you are confused about something. If you are confusion and don't understand something, put a question mark next to it and then come back to it later and try and figure it out. And then lastly, a star for things that you think are going to be important for the plot. So, star is important, question mark is for questions that you have, exclamation point is for things that you think are exciting, and a heart is if you think it's really cute or something that you love. Cool. So, we have three annotation strategies. I have one more, which is a little bit out there, but I also think it's pretty cool. Um, you can draw out what is happening in a story. Um... This works really well for fiction, so it might not apply here. Um, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, but in a fictional text, you can absolutely draw out something that is happening. So in Anthem, when we read Anthem, or even To Kill a Mockingbird, you could have drawn out what Scout was doing or what Equality was doing. And that is a valid form of annotation because you're summarizing what's happening. So that's totally fine too. Okay, so do you have to choose all four of these? No, that's absurd. That's too much work. I'm not going to make you draw out everything that's happening. 
plus four sentences, plus a summary for each page, plus stop and jots, plus all the hearts and exclamation points, etc. You need to choose one that you like. If post-it notes work for you, you can do that. If you have another annotation strategy that works for you, you can use that. But I want you to be annotating. Okay. Okay, move to slide number five. How to annotate online. Oh man, how do we annotate online? So there are two ways to go about this. Um, you can convert the document into a PDF form. If um, you're able to, download uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader for free. Um, it's a PDF reader, and it comes with these nifty tools that I have below. Um, on the PDF reader, the Adobe PDF reader, it comes with a comment tool, so you can actually stop and jot um, or stop and type. Um, comments in the margins, or you can also highlight uh, using the highlighter tool. Um, both are on the upper left side of the Adobe Reader. If you play around with it enough, you'll find it. It's literally right there. Um, how to make things in the PDF is you have to save as, and then save it as a PDF, and then it should open up with that Adobe Reader. Um, that's how I read all my stuff online. Um, if you can't download it, um, like on your phone or anything like that, um, what you could do is write on a scrap sheet of paper and just take notes the old fashioned way. Not as fun and glamorous as using a virtual highlighter, but you got to deal with what you got. So that is a way that you can annotate online. So here's your homework. Slide number six. Cool. You're going to finish Into the Wild. You're going to read the rest of the book. It's only five chapters. I'm going to make you read them. Um, in the PowerPoint is a link and the comment link. There are three different links here. Hold on. There are three links to the text. If you click Into the Wild chapters 13 through 18, that is a link to the PDF version, just in case you don't have your book. If you have your book, go ahead and read your book. That's fine. They're the same text. So you're going to read and annotate your book until you finish it. Then you're going to write a five-paragraph ACES essay. Um, the prompt is, the prompt equals, uh, is Chris McCandless selfish? Why or why not? If you do not know how to write an ACES paragraph, you're in luck because I have a whole YouTube video on it and you can click the link there for my YouTube video. How, how easy is that? Um, this essay um, will be emailed to me by next Thursday. If it is not, it'll be marked incomplete. My email is also right there as well. My email is also in the description. So there's no reason why you can't email me uh, by then. So you have a week to read five chapters and write a five paragraph essay on um, the topic, is Chris McCandless self selfish, why or why not? And that is your homework for the week. You're basically just gonna be reading and then writing a really quick essay. It's only five paragraphs, that will take you no time. Um, if you have any questions, again, shoot me an email. Um, Mr. Paro will be having his video on Monday, so make sure you tune in for that. Um, I believe Ms. Sloan sent out an email with our, me and Mr. Paro's YouTube links in it again. Um, so please, please, please get that done. These are easy grades, so get those done. Um, lastly... Slide seven. Um, this is a do now. It's not required, but I think that you should do it. Um, what I want you to do is text a friend that you normally don't talk to. Um, I want you to reach out to someone you normally don't talk to during this time. Um, we're all kind of lonely and bored and kind of tired of being isolated. So now is a good time to reach out and talk to people that you don't normally talk to. So if you have a friend that you haven't spoken to in a couple months or you guys fell out of touch, 
give that person a buzz. They're also just as bored as you are and probably would like to talk to somebody. So don't be afraid. Reach out to people. Do not isolate yourself. Try and talk to as many people as you can. Do not go outside, but try and talk to as many people as you can. Okay, so that is a, not a homework, but sort of a homework. Okay, so finish into the wild. Annotate it. Write a five paragraph ACEs essay on it. If you forget what ACEs are, there's a link there. And I will see you guys next Wednesday or Thursday. So be well. Come into office hours if you have any questions for me. And you guys are the best. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Bye.